Up to this point, we've been working in a line form of etching with a needle. Now I'm going to do something called aquatint, which is more to do with creating areas of light and dark rather than line. And I have to wear a mask because the resin that we're using is rather horrible stuff. As you can see, the plate is now covered with a, a thin layer of dust, of resin dust. And now what we have to do is to melt that onto the plate so that it forms little tiny globules of resin. And that resin globule resists the acid. So the acid, all it can do is to eat the metal between all the little blobs of resin. Okay, now we're going to heat the plate and you can probably see the white dust on the plate and hopefully you'll be able to see the... it, it appears to disappear, to disappear and that's really melting. It's takes a little bit of time to heat the plate. There it goes. Doesn't want to get too hot, otherwise it tends to all fuse together and block the plate out. There, that's done. I'm now going to what's called stop out uh, parts of the plate which I don't want the acid to get to. In other words, what I'm doing now is stopping a part of the plate that I want to remain white in the final print. So this black stuff, it's called stop out varnish, um, protects the plate. Right. Now I've just got to dry that off a bit but then it goes into the acid. I take it out, that's had 10 seconds in the acid, take it out and wash it. All this blank area of the plate has been etched for 10 seconds and that hopefully will give us a light grey. I'm now going to stop out the part that I want to remain that light grey. So you're actually painting, it's just, what I'm doing is just 
like painting, except that you're painting in reverse. You're painting black where you want it to be light. So that's etched it for a light tone. I'm now going to etch it again for a slightly darker tone. That was a, a light tone, this will be a light to medium tone. So the next tone is going to be a slightly darker tone still. And as you can see, if you think about it, we're gradually covering up the plate and protecting it from the acid step by step until the whole of the plate is covered except for the part that you want to be in, the deepest black. So it's like a sort of gradual reduction. The next step, etch, is for a slightly longer time, about 50 seconds this time. So all the tones in the path are going to be stopped out except for very near foreground. We want a bit of texture left on that for, for the very dark. This is going in for the final etch and it'll be for about a minute and a half. So in total it should have had about th three minutes, something like that. <laughs> 